Greetings ladies and gentlemen, it is I and the one and only Tiana here once again and I am back for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more Let's Play of Sonic Colors for the Nintendo DS. So last time we essentially did manage to explore into Starlight Carnival, which oh no, we actually did that level pretty good. Except there was a part where the fact that in Mission 3 that I've made a terrible mistake because of how the fact I accidentally did activate a stomp move with that particular mission about the fact that we need to rescue those wisps. So that's besides the point, I guess. So, and on top of that, we also did manage to able to come across into ourselves the orange rocket wisp. And on top of that, we also did manage to get ourselves the third Chaos Emerald, but this time what appears to be the Grey Chaos Emerald. In addition to that, we've somehow bumped into not only Rouge the Bat, but also Knuckles the Echidna. So, yeah, in some cases though, those two being the most iconic treasure hunters, basically. So, either way, and uh, everything else checks out there, basically. So today, for this video, is about the fact that we're going to be continuing things on and move on to the next planet we're about to be going into, and that's what appears to be Planet Wisp. Now, what I found was a little bit strange about this is, though, is that unlike on the Wii version, including Sonic Colors Ultimate, is that once you finish up with the forms of Sweet Belton and Starlight Carnival, uh, normally we were supposed to be able to try to able to actually access to the other three levels that we're about to be jumping into. Like, it doesn't really matter which order of levels you're about to be going into, either on uh, Planet Wisp, or Aquarium Park, and even especially noticeable with Asteroid Coaster. In the DS version this time around though, is that we can only able to actually go into not only Planet Wisp, but also Aquarium Park as well at the moment right now. And as far as Asteroid Coaster, as far as I'm concerned, we'll have to unlock that once we finish up with the forms of those two stages first. So because of that though, kind of an interesting change between with the forms of the, in the console version, including with the forms of Sonic Colors Ultimate. So that's besides the point. So anyway, so let's see what Wisp we're about to be stumbling across into this time. And actually, as it turns out, we're about to be stumbling across into ourselves the familiar Yellow Drill Wisp. So because of that, because normally about the fact that we only come across into, you know, the Yellow Drill Wisp, during the forms of in Sweet Mountain on the Wii version, including Sonic Colors Ultimate. So he's now here on the Planet Wisp DS version. So because of that though, because normally on the Wii version, including Sonic Colors Ultimate though, you only come across into one Wisp in uh, Planet Wisp. Now there's of course, pink spikes, but that's not the case this time around on the DS version. So, with that being said, folks, it's about the fact I felt it was a little bit fascinating indeed that we're about to be able to actually realize about the fact that when it comes to the forms of in uh, any other levels coming up, though, that it seems to be more specifically, though, is about the fact that, well, I'll explain more about that specific solutions until what if we get into the later videos to come. So, either way, so now we have the ability to now use the Yellow Drill Wisp. So, I'm pretty sure about the fact that it plays pretty much exactly like the defaults of how it does on the console version, including Sonic Colors Ultimate, except the noticeable differences this time around, though, is that, well... We'll get to that shortly, because as far as I'm aware, about the fact that no matter what though, is about the fact that we can able to expect to realize that certain level designs might be a little bit tricky, at least as far as uh, the later stages as far as I'm concerned, but I will try my best able to actually get myself the glorious good ranks and all that stuff, and exponentially though, we can able to get ourselves the fourth Chaos Emeralds, which, if I recall correctly though, we're about to be getting the red Chaos Emeralds once we get to special stage 4. So anyway, so let's see how the Drill Wisp actually plays out to be on the DS version, and I will admit though right away, it feels a little bit too uh, finicky at points, because I will admit it though right away, because I'm pretty much used to with the analog controls when it comes to the Drill Wisp in mind. Not only for the sake of the forms of the original Sonic Colors, as well as Sonic Colors Ultimate, but alongside with that, there was also with the forms of Sonic Lost World as well, and I think that could be also applies on the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World as well, and relatively speaking, oh, that's as far as I can usually try and describe it, so either way. And also, not to mention though, is about the fact that what I've also realized about the fact that when it comes to the forms of uh, 
uh, certain parts I would like to discuss upon. Well, fundamentally speaking, I was about the fact that uh, today's day is, of course, the OSD. I won't classify for saying about the fact that today's day is, of course, the OSD 25th of August today, in some cases in 2024 today. So I believe, fundamentally speaking, oh, we've only got about exactly five more days to go until PAX West is going to be on the horizon. And exponentially speaking, though, I'm still basically excited about, you know, showing us some more gameplay footage about the forms of not only Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, but alongside with the forms of Super Mario Party Jamboree as well. And hopefully by that time and during a later portion, for the sake of the forms of 2024, that we'll definitely be able to actually see some more gameplay footage for the likes of Mario Luigi Brothership at some point. So either way though, but that's not going to be for a little while, I'm afraid, for this point, guys. Especially concerning for the fact that at this point in time, about the fact that we've only got about exactly one week left until August is about to be wrapped up before we move on to the ninth month, which is, of course, September. And as far as I'm aware, September is going to be most highly anticipated months, at least as far as I'm concerned, alongside with the forms of October as well coming up, which is especially noticeable concerning for the fact that, like I said before, that uh, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is going to be on its way. In addition to that, the DVD slash Blu-ray release, including 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray version of Inside Out 2, is going to be approaching to its release. Now, speaking of which, though, is about the fact that I, I do somehow manage to found out that there is actually, technically speaking, though, a future Pixar film reference on Inside Out 2. That's what appears to be something relates to LO. So, no matter what, though, is about the fact that I found it a little bit fascinating to be able to actually see the future Pixar film referenced again after the events of so many films in the past, ranging from Toy Story 2 or uh, Finding uh, Nemo or uh, Monsters, Inc. and all that stuff, especially concerning for the fact that, well, it has been a very, very, very long while since we actually seen the evolves of future Pixar film references for the most current films at the time. So, either way though, that's besides the point. So, anyway. So, yeah, as I was saying about the forms of Hollow Fact, I'm pretty much used to with the analog controls when it comes to utilizing with the yellow drill wisp, because as far as I'm aware, using the directional pad, I will admit though, feels a little bit tad stiff to me though, because, I mean, there are a couple of times, though, about the fact I just keep on bumping into certain walls and what have you. Well, fundamentally speaking, though, Act 1 is not that big of a deal. But as far as Act 2, as far as I'm concerned, oh boy, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on trial and error when it comes to Act 2 in mind. Which you'll see why if we dive right into Act 2 in general. So, anyway, so let's get into the forms of being the fourth special stage on the DS version of Sonic Colors. So, yeah, fundamentally speaking, Speaking of, is about the fact that this is where the special stages might get a little bit tricky at points, especially if you don't are able to actually accidentally knock over not only certain blue orbs, but as well as yellow orbs as well. So just to ensure for the fact that you have to do a fast uh, reaction times, just like the forms of how it does it in Sonic Rush, special stage wise. So, except your noticeable differences this time around, though, is about the fact that, well, fundamentally speaking, I was about the fact that you don't have to worry about keep on collecting rings most of your time. And not to mention, though, is about the fact that if you try to enter in the special stage, if you keep on retrying the special stage by simply trying to pause the game or something like that, well, the layout itself will be pretty much unchanged if you manage to able to keep on restarting the special stage or something like this. So, anyway, um... There's also another thing I want to point out as well, is about the fact that I do somehow manage to found out that recently though, is that uh, SynDisk actually launches the new set of micro SD cards, and this time what appears to be a Pokemon themed uh, micro SD cards. So, fundamentally speaking, I was about the fact that currently speaking though, they somehow only revealed three editions. So one of them is actually 256 uh, gigabytes, alongside with the forms of 512 gigabytes, and finally one terabyte. So because of that though, that's as far as we can able to say about this, I guess. But I have no idea when these SD cards or micro SD cards will be releasing during that time, but I'm sure we'll find out more about it. Assuming, of course, about the fact that if, I don't know, Maxi will mention more about it until tomorrow's case for Luigi's Mansion 2, but we shall see. So anyway, so yeah, I just need to concentrate for this point right now, especially concerning for the fact that at this point in time, we definitely need to be able to try to grab as many of those 
colored orbs for this point, especially concerning with the forms of the actual, uh, well, let's just say the economy might actually increase slightly, but regardless of everything else though, as long as you would know what to do, then you feel right at home. Honestly, I will admit though right away, is that these special stages are pretty easy for the most part, especially concerning for the fact that if you don't mess up quite a few times, then you should be good to go, unlike the forms of how it does it on certain special stages from the past Sonic games for sure, ranging from Special Stage 7 from the likes of not only Sonic Events, but as well as Sonic Events 2, as well as Sonic Events 3, and even Sonic Rush. Now I will admit though, that could be also applies for one of those Johnny Races, specifically Johnny Race 6 on the forms of Sonic Rush Adventure, because sometimes though it's about the fact that as far as what Ray the Flying Squirrel has already discovered about the fact that he did have a hard time with race number 6 when it comes to getting the 6th Chaos Emerald, or should I say, well, the light blue Chaos Emerald. So anyway, so that pretty much does it for special stage number 4. And naturally speaking now, we somehow got the Red Chaos Emerald, as opposed to the Green Chaos Emerald, unlike the previous Dimps Sonic games, basically. So, either way, so let's go ahead and move on now to Act 2, where basically though is about the fact that I, I will admit though right away, that uh, basically though is about the fact that once we get to the very end of the level, oh man, you'll see nothing yet. So, anyway, also as far as I did somehow found out something, is about the fact that I did somehow manage to realize about the fact that, you know what this particular, uh, Lego Mario Kart thing, as we've somehow on about, ever since Injury New Forms have been the past few months ago? Well, actually, as it turns out, is about the fact that thanks to Gamecoms, or Gamescom, I should say, basically, though, is about the fact that they did somehow, um, unveiled the forms of the Mario Kart Lego series, which, as far as I'm aware, I did recently look up on the forms of not only how these sets looks like, but also, as far as I can tell, they did already reveal the actual release date for that particular Lego set. So, for instance, it might actually contains about six sets of the Lego Mario Kart sets. So, for instance, we're about to be getting one for the likes of not only with Baby Peach, along with the forms of the Grand Prix set. In addition to that, there's also the Lego Mario Kart Toads Workshop, and on top of that, there's also Lego Mario Kart Baby Mario vs. Baby Luigi, and there's also LEGO Mario Kart Donkey Kong and DK Jumbo Kart, based off from the likes of, I would say, since, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash or something like that? That could be the case. And on top of that, there's also gonna be, uh, Mario Kart, uh, Yoshi Bike for the LEGO, uh, counterparts. And finally, there's also gonna be LEGO Mario Kart Standard Kart. So because of that, though, yeah, that's quite a lot of sets where it comes to able to actually be, uh, revealed Drew any forms have been at some point that I will or will admit the right away that the actual release days was a it was actually very unexpected. Like it did say it's about to be releasing at some point in 2025, of course. But actually, as it turns out, is about the fact that the actual proper release date for it is about to be releasing at some point on the 1st of January in 2025. In some cases, the beginning of 2025. So yeah, that's also a great start, especially concerning for the fact that you know with the uh, the 40th anniversary is going to be on its way for the Super Mario Brothers franchise. So, but I still have no idea what they're going to be planning for um, in regards to the forms of the 40th anniversary of the Super Mario Bros. franchise, but I'm sure we'll find out more about it. Maybe during at some point, once we get into at some point in July in next year, well, possibilities were endless, I suppose. Especially concerning for the fact that everyone else still keeps on questioning about the next Nintendo system will be on its way or something like this happens to be. Well, then again, I will uh, see what happens. Oh, jeez, Louise, we're about to get chased by the forms of this particular crusher thing. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, if you get stuck like that, obviously, though, you will die instantly. So because of that... Also, I just realized, I didn't touch the checkpoint. Ah, oh, that's pretty silly of me. Especially concerning for the fact that I didn't pay attention to the forms of the surroundings. So, yeah, I might have to able to actually try to able to touch the checkpoint uh, without even, like, realizing it at first glance. So, but uh, thankfully, though, the entire journey to uh, the next checkpoint I'm about to be entering into, or should I say, the final checkpoint, I should say, wasn't nearly as far as I hoped. So, either way... 
But uh, fundamentally speaking, that was about the fact that you can also try to able to actually perform the actual drill dash if you decide to able to actually decide to use that technique. But um, keep that in mind, though, is about the fact that since we are now going to be approaching back onto the final bit of Act 2 of Planet Wisp. So keep that in mind, though, is about the fact that I have to able to make, make things a little bit more, well... It's hard for me to explain, honestly, because obviously I was have to concentrate on this particular part right there. Because, again, relatively speaking, I was about the fact that this is where the level design gets a little bit difficult at this point. But thankfully, though, we somehow managed able to accomplish this part within the second try. So, that's all that really matters, I guess. Although, I'm afraid to tell you for this point, guys, it's about the fact that we might come across into the worst rank in the game. So... Yeah, there goes our performance when it comes to Act 2 of Planet Wisp. So there's our, I would say this is our first D rank we've ever got so far. So relatively speaking, I was about the fact that, an oh boy, once we get the forms of Asteroid Coaster, for instance, oh boy, you may see nothing yet when it comes to the difficulty spike. So either way, so yeah, that pretty much does it for our rough performance in Act 2. So now we can able to take care of those missions. So either way, let's head into mission number one. So I wonder what specific characters we might bump into this time around, because like I said before, since the very beginning of this video, that we somehow bump into not only Knuckles, but as well as Rouge the Bat. But here, we somehow bump into Charmy B, so I get the strong feeling about the fact that we might able to actually bump into the rest of the Chaotix members. So, uh, minus the forms of Mighty the Armadillo, because it wasn't until in 2018, where basically though, that Mighty the Armadillo were finally able to actually make its grander return after the events of not only Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog arcade machine, but as well as the forms of Knuckles Chaotix. So, usually for the Sega Mega 32X. So, that's what I was expecting. So, anyway, so here we go on to the first mission on Planet West. And as be expected, we're going to be collecting some more rings. So, to be expected at this point. Especially concerning for the fact that, well, at this point in time, that this is where the missions themselves might get a little bit trickier. Especially concerning for the fact that if you accidentally touch the balls, those little spiky balls, while trying to utilize with the drill wisp, obviously, though, you have to restart the entire mission again. Because otherwise, if you lose all of your rings, then obviously, though, is about the fact that it, it might seem to get a little bit... Oh, ah, oh, did I somehow made it? Yes, I made it. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a close call, especially concerning for the fact that I'm almost going to get screwed over right there. But thankfully, though, I did somehow manage to able to obtain the one of those 10 rings of all things in time. So just to ensure I can easily manage to able to accomplish this mission. So either way, though, Jeez, that was tight, especially concerning for the fact that, well, again, sometimes using a Drill Wisp on the DS version is not exactly easy as it's far as I was concerning it before. Well, that's besides the point, I guess. So, either way, so it may look like about the fact that, well, Charmy B is now going to able to walk off or fly off or something like that. So... Either way, so let's go ahead and now move on to mission number two. So I wonder what we're going to be bump into next. In doing any forms of one of those missions, so I suppose we might be able to actually bump into, well, if I have to guess, like, I don't know, Espio the Chameleon or anything else like that. Oh, speaking of which, there he is. So... Anyway though, also I just want to classify for mentioning about this is about the fact that I do somehow realize about the fact that until specifically until, I would say, on the 28th of August I'm pretty sure, they may look like about the fact that the Paralympics is almost going to be approaching for the sake of Paris 2024. But uh, I will admit though right away, I don't normally watch that much of Paralympics as much as the forms of the standard. Um, Olympics or something like that. Well, that's mainly because I was very impressed about the forms of several of, uh, athletes and all that stuff, but that's just me. So, anyways, let's see. Oh, no. I somehow recognize this particular section right there. And that's what appears to be we need to rescue those wisps again, except this time it takes place on this very, very... Very dangerous section in based off from Act 2 of Planet West. So, yeah, I have honestly have no idea why they sent me here in the first place. So, I suppose, well, the only thing it's worth noting for is that if you try to able to actually get the Yellow Wisp, 
that does not count as rescuing these wisps. So, yeah, that's a little bit uh, unacceptable. But regardless of everything else, though, only white wisps only counts. So, either way, are you kidding me? Well, there's our second D rank for this run, especially concerning for the fact that I just have no idea that stupid crushing segment is that obviously will trying to mess me up, especially concerning for the fact that at this point in time, this is where the missions themselves gets a little bit difficult. Well, I'm usually going to have to save that particular topic for the final missions coming up, which as a result though, you might see nothing yet. So either way, but thankfully we did somehow manage to accomplish mission 2, and thankfully though is about the fact that that mission is really, really quick. Well, depending on about the fact that if you come across into a lot of trial and error situations like I did. So anyway, so let's move on now to mission number 3, and it may look like we might able to actually bump into, well, Vector the Crocodile. So, find the computer room, he says, or something like that. I keep on referencing something relates to Shadow the Hedgehog for the sake of the actual specific dialogue, but that's besides the point. So anyway, and also if what I found out is about the fact that when it comes to looking back on journey forms of that particular metal table, uh, for the sake of the forms of the Paris Olympics 2024, for what I found out, they may look like that much like the forms of how it does it in Tokyo 2021 Summer Olympics, is that it may look like United States is actually in first place when it comes to the forms of certain medals. And as far as I'm aware, for I did some amounts to found out that the United States actually got 40 gold medals, 44 silver medals, and 42 bronze medals, making a grand total of 126 medals in total. So yeah, that's actually quite impressive, and it's especially noticeable concerning about the fact that unlike in Tokyo 2021, basically though, the United States somehow got uh, 39 gold medals, 41 silver medals, and 33 bronzes, making a grand total of 113 medals total back in three years ago. So yeah, that was actually a little bit of a step up from the likes of the forms of how it does it for the comparison from the likes of, you know, three years ago. So, actually, before I get to more details about the forms of the medals count for certain uh, countries and all that stuff, as you can see, we're now on to the third mission, and as you can see, rather than just trying to able to actually keep on collecting rings, as per usual, and on top of that, collecting uh, certain wisps, and even trying to deal with the time limit in certain stages, as you can see, not able to try to able to complete this mission right here, is that we need to find those specific numbered wisps. So, I'm pretty sure we do need to able to try to find these numbers in a chronological order, ranging from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 finally five so because of that though thankfully though the arrows go tells you where you're supposed to go just like the forms of how it does it, it kind of reminds me of like a similar mission i guess anyway from the likes of i would say in sonic rush adventure or something well mind you about the fact that like i said this before about the fact it has been about quite a few days ago actually since i actually have last played um, Sonic Rush Adventure, especially I did manage to able to play that game on my spare own time, and actually, actually turns out is about the fact I've almost completely done everything for the likes of Sonic Rush Adventure. I mean, relatively speaking, I'm still currently on the process of trying to complete certain missions on my spare own time, but either way, we somehow got ourselves a C rank, so it's better than the D rank for sure, but not the best of its kind, I guess. Or should I say, it's not the best run in the world, but regardless of such though, I don't mind it too much, especially concerning for the fact that, well, you get the idea for this point right here. So, anyways though, back into what I was saying about the forms of the medals table count, uh, for the sake of the forms of comparing that to, uh, uh, let's just say, Tokyo 2021, uh, Tokyo Olympics compared to now for the likes of 2024, Paris Olympics, and uh, either way. I've already mentioned about the forms of the United States medals count. Now, as far as for our medal counts for Great Britain, unlike the forms of how it does it in Tokyo 2021, that we somehow got ourselves about 22 gold medals and 20 silver medals and 22 bronze medals, making a grand total of 64 medals total for the likes of Tokyo 2021 Summer Olympics, whilst compared to the forms of how it does it in uh, Paris 2024, somehow we ended up getting 65 medals total, which means we somehow got 14 gold medals, which is a bit lesser compared to the forms of how it does it from the, previ uh, the previous Summer Olympics, but it does its job. 
And meanwhile, we've actually got 22 silver medals. And finally, we've somehow got 29 bronze medals. So, yeah, it feels a little bit alright for our results for that particular part right there. But, again, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. So, either way. And also, what I did somehow found out is about the fact that China, for that particular country, uh... You know, when it comes to the forms of athletes or anything else like that. Uh, much like the forms of how it does it in Tokyo 2021. Some Olympics is that China did somehow claim second place overall when it comes to the medal counts. So, at least as far as I'm aware, that unlike the forms of how it does it in Tokyo 2021. Um, Summer Olympics is that China did somehow receive... Uh, let's just say 89 medals in Tokyo 2021. Like, they somehow got 38 gold medals and 32 silvers. And finally, 19 bronze medals. Whilst in June, it forms have been Paris 2024, that China did somehow receive a grand total of 91 medals total. So that means they somehow got uh, 40 gold, much like the forms of how it does it for the United States. And there's also 27 silver medals, and finally 24 bronze medals. So, yeah, that's all I can really say about that particular discussion, I suppose. Especially concerning for the fact that, as you can tell, we somehow basically completely done everything for Planet Wisp in the DS version of Sonic Colors. And I will say, despite we actually got our pretty rough performance, not only for Act 2, but as well as Mission 2, because it does manage to take place in this very instant death uh, crushing segment at the end of the actual levels. But apart from those aside things though, we did the entire world like this pretty decently at best. So, well, nothing even compared to the forms of Asteroid Coaster. And again, we'll save that particular topic once we get to next Sunday, presumably speaking. So, either way, so naturally speaking, I was about the fact that as you can tell, we've already did somehow defeated the actual boss in the forms of Planet Wisp. But except this time we can now use the yellow drill wisp to able to actually go from underwater and basically that was about the fact you highly recommend you're able to take down these restored generators so just in case that particular boss does not restore health so yeah i just want to classify that so either way so four zones has been completely done well the only thing is left now is, of course, we only got uh, two planets left until we basically just take down all those uh, robot generators. So with that being said, folks, is that we get ending off this point right here. So join me next time for more of Let's Play of Sonic Colors for the Nintendo DS version. Is that we're about to be going on to the next level, which appears to be Aquarium Park. So this will be interesting. So I'll see you guys until our next Saturday. Later, fellas.